Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the Ninja Reviewer here. Welcome to my review of the one and only Dragon Ball Super Episode 87 Review. Now, this episode, not really extremely long. Uh, technically not a very long review episode, uh, technically very gonna be quick, cause honestly, we only have like one thing to focus on, and honestly, eh, it was like okay, but I wasn't really too crazy for it, but regardless, the review for this episode isn't gonna be very long, so get into the matter of hand. However, what I did like about this episode was the fact that we had uh, 17 getting a very inspirational liking to Goku, meaning like, oh my god, like, it's so weird how, like, you know, I was trying to kill you for many all this time, you know, assigned a program to kill you, yet here I am now, you know, working side by side, you teaming up for this tournament, you know, for the sake of the world, of course. So, when it comes to that, it's like, wow. So, the interesting stuff I will talk about is mainly it's like, Goku's like, but, but here's the thing, Ben. Goku has been one selfish motherfucker as of lately. It's like, shit, he will do anything. It's like Goku's mode is like he doesn't give a fuck. It's just like, dude, Goku, what the hell? And then Lion, you never used to lie before, dude. Like, what the hell? You better come up with some crazy way to sound like you're actually telling the truth. Because, honestly, it kind of seems like all these kind of lies and emotions... This stuff, Goku, is gonna bite you in the ass. Like, literally, no tomorrow. Like, straight up. It really will. So, basically, you know, we have that. And, of course, um, 17 says if he had the Super Dragon Balls, the biggest wish he would have is a really big yacht boat. So, that way, it can carry all the... <laughs> I'm like, dude, what are you, fucking Noah's Ark? Like, what the hell? It's like, he, why don't you just build an Ark and basically carry every animal on that ship? and change history like straight up dude like straight up noah's ark shit and it's like oh man so then after the whole okay so basically the space poachers the guy pretty much sucked he was a loser he was just trying to play it off like basically the reason why he wanted to get that purple that really rare purple buffalo creature thing was because the horns were worth a lot of money so it's obviously he's a poacher and it seems like He's been trying to capture a whole bunch of different animals from, like, every single planet. So we can obviously tell maybe he was associated, like, with some kind of wantedness. And I'm pretty sure it's like, wait, why don't you just get Jacko? And soon enough, we got Jacko at the very end of the episode. You know, saying, like, oh, good work. This is the criminal I've been trying to chase for for years. And the guys finally caught him for me. And obviously, the, there were no, obviously, they were a joke, they were easy. And I really did like the fact that Goku had his, like, his whole selfishness when it comes to, it's like, all right, look, man, he's the strongest leader, right? Can I just basically just fight him? Like, you just fight the henchman? It's like, well, no, this is my problem, dude. Let me fight the top leader, and you fight the henchman. So I kind of like, it's like, dude, all right, look, let's just solve this rock, paper, scissors. So he's like, look, I'm going to beat you guys up, race with the quick line. Well, see you, Goku. And he's like, hey, screw you. And he's like, I want to actually fight him. That's bullshit. And then technically, we find out that the leader is a big joke. He's not even a big threat. Mm, that's pretty obvious. He kind of looks like not really the biggest threat there. But it was kind of funny, though, how this whole thing, how it's like Beerus had this like weird bad omen that something blew up as self-destruct and Goku... Well, I don't think it was really that dream, but I think it's a dream that like Goku died. It's like, oh my god, it's a bad omen. It's a bad omen while he was asleep. And honestly, that was actually pretty funny. And Vegeta's like... Jesus, these guys are still loaded. This is no damn motel. Like, why are they still sleeping here? You know, disturbing my, you know, newborn daughter. Like, come on, guys. Just hit the road and go the hell home. Like, seriously. So, basically, then... So, those parts right there. <laughs> that was actually really funny. So, then we get to the poacher. The main leader is a punk-ass bitch. That's pretty obvious. And then, technically... Which is kind of messed up, too. Is that, dude, Goku, you're taking... This dude, the Supreme, to King Kai's planet, 
knowing that if he did have a real self destruct button, everything would just be erased. I don't even think there's even no coming back for King Kai. I mean, don't get me wrong, yes, he's already dead, but he'll be more than just dead. He'll be non existent, including his planet. And it's like, Goku, oh my god. Jesus, I mean, it seems that Goku's character, like most people I've, I've seen already, has changed in some drastic way, where it's like, all he is, is just like someone who just wants to fight now, just for the sake, like this dude is like straight up Saitama from One Punch Man, and basically, he wants to go out there and just fight the strongest opponents, just to feed his um, satisfaction, because like, you know what, hey, and basically to new lights, just finding new opponents that are much more in a stronger league, so that kind of, you know, explains it, but anyways, it's like, dude, honestly, th that's pretty much what's going on, so apparently the real self-destruct thing, Dende out of nowhere, just, again, out of nowhere, just comes in there, and he's like, dude, he's not really, you know, gonna blow everything up, he doesn't have a self-destruct button, it's just some big talk for him in order to actually you know, escape for someone and actually live. So then, finally, we find out it's a fake, it's a dud, it's some kind of confetti that he was going to have a party afterwards once he sells the, that thing, that buffalo purple eye theater thing, or I don't know. So, anyways, you know, there's that. So, basically, that's the whole episode, and then, of course, you know, 17 offers to join, and he's like, you know, getting the liking of Goku. So, there were some stuff, you know, here and there that were actually pretty damn, you know, that, that was either good or funny, interesting so yeah overall when it comes to the overall episode i'm gonna have to give this one sadly a three out of five just an okay episode not really anything spectacular and it was pretty obvious that 17 was gonna join anyway so again not really anything surprising here but not anything too fantastic but overall it was kind of fun it was an okay episode but next week's episode though yes yo yeah i'm really excited because we get to see Gohan's development in the next episode, Training with Piccolo. So I am really excited. And in the preview, it turns out they did actually confirm it that yes, Piccolo really is going to be joining with them. So that's a huge plus. That is great. So we just need two more members, guys. We're almost done with all this recruiting stuff. And then maybe once the recruiting stuff is all over, we'll finally get to the tournament. Maybe this is the whole big stalling plan the entire time. So then now when people can get some character development, get to know each other a lot more like the good old days, etc, etc. So this is actually a pretty good way to set things up. So overall, it's an okay episode overall. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below, everyone, about this episode of Dragon Ball Super. And I will see you guys next time, next week, for episode 88. Real looking forward to it. I'm really hoping, man, that opening burn on Dick tease me. We better get Gohan's ultimate form back. Mystic Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, whatever you want to call him. That hidden potential ability, please. I want that shit back. Toei, Toriyama, let's get that shit done. So without further ado, that's pretty much it. And I'll um, don't forget again to rate the video. You have a mouse at your disposal right here. Click, click, click. Comment with either your keyboard or your phone. And also when it comes to um, subscribing, hit the little uh, bell to... You know, get notifications to my works. And that's not only all. You can follow my Facebook, my Twitter, my um, Discord, my Tumblr. And I did fix the uh, Discord link, by the way. This wasn't really the right group I sent in the description down below. I did re-edit it and I did fix it. So it is what it is. So either way, go check it out right there. You already know the drill. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to check out my server on the Discord. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that as well. So I'll tell them that's pretty much it. So peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. And manga fans, keep supporting what you're reading, what you watch. Again, see you guys next week for episode 88. Later. Bye-bye.